what is up dorks today we have grand finals of cpt japan number three only the winner of the tournament actually gets a spot in capcom cup so this is a very high stakes match between daigo and kawano daigo doesn't need any kind of introduction i feel like if you're watching this video you definitely know who daigo is already kawano might need a little bit more of an introduction but he's been on a tear in japan widely regarded as like top five in japan right now like he won the evil online for japan this year he won topanga so he's a very strong competitor a colleen player just like me so i was rooting for him the whole way Kawano and Daigo actually played in winner semis and Kawano lost 3-0 because he picked Vega but they came back in grand finals with Daigo in winner side. And it's a pretty long set so let's just get straight into to the match. So you know this matchup I know pretty well. I hate it. It's one of Colleen's hardest matchups I think but it's not unwinnable. In terms of like points and everything and Colleen can definitely get in and make stuff happen if she can get control of the corner then she can she can just keep him there and maul him and like whiff punish everything just crush counter when he tries to boom but the problem is mid screen and getting him to the corner and you can just feel so frustrated sometimes if the guile player is keeping you out if you're out of resources you have like no way to to come back but right here, Kawano has Daigo in the corner. If he loses it, like right here, then the round is kind of over. But the trick is, if Kawano keeps him in the corner, then, you know, the round can kind of happen. But right now, it's pretty much over. Because he lost control of the corner. So you have to kind of just get control of the corner and keep Guile in the corner. That's how the matchup goes. And because of that, I think it just requires a lot of energy and creativity on the part of Colleen. Because you always have to be like completely confident that you are going to find a hit and get them to the corner. Because once, you, once your confidence gets shaken a little bit and you start overthinking your guesses on, on offense, then um, it just goes downhill. But you saw him get the, the medium punch on the boom. Like that's an example of the creativity it has. You have to take, you have to take like smart risks. Wow, that was a crazy V shift. I'm not sure why Kawano did the V break. He was probably just hoping it hit so he got the knockdown. Uh, but Daigo with the V shift to punish the V break. And this is okay for Kawano even though he's mid screen because he still has his V trigger. Resources are very important in this matchup. He has two bars and a V trigger so he can make this happen but with every hit his chances go down pretty significantly because that's like one less hit um, before you lose a round. But it's still doable for sure. If he finds a good oh, activation go. like go. this, go. goes into the hands, he just needs a hit into super, down. goes for the cross up setup, gets a throw, down. one hit into yeah, super, actually takes it, and Daigo this probably holding super. up, maybe uh, maybe Kawano doing a back dash or something, like uh, maybe walking Great forward, it's kind of hard to say exactly what Daigo did there, and it didn't really, it wasn't really a terrible decision on Daigo's side, if you see here. Uh, Kawano had uh, like a bunch of V-Trigger left after this moment. So he could have, uh, if he took the throw, Kawano could have done a back throw, slid, done another back throw, you know. At some point, Daigo has to make the guess. This was definitely a risky guess, but um, it wasn't completely uncalled for, I don't think. Great comeback there for and Kawano Kawano just makes the right reads and that's that's what you have to do um, but that's not that's not what you like to see as a Colleen player just an air throw straight off the bat that's like 300 damage and you're just getting zoned out and these rounds will just kind of sometimes happen in this matchup where you literally get like no damage but you have a V trigger so it's not completely lost but once you activate that's when the round can start being uh, kind of unwinnable because slowly your V trigger starts to dwindle down each each punch button you make decreases your chances of winning if you don't find a hit 
So Daigo doesn't commit to a lot of Sobats in neutral. Every stab you do through a fireball, if you guess wrong on the offensive yeah, choice, oh, decreases your chances. Yeah, but he finds a whiff punish. I'm not sure why he did the stab there. I would have done a uh, throw into dash up. Hits the confirm though. And one more hit's actually going to do it. Counter hit. No light kick. I'm not sure if light kick would have reached. And this is actually just really hard right now. He has to guess on all of these booms. And yeah, this is. He's almost going to get. He's actually going to get chipped out now. This is. He has to just guess right on the Sonic boom. He can't really. It's it's unwinnable at that point. Basically, like 99% chance, Kyle wins that round. It was. I think he has to win right here. Is is the problem? And he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't get the stun. And then he's lost. You can't really win this. And it really shows like this game is not about the life. It's about who actually can win win the game. Because in all those last couple interactions, like not really much life was happening, like much life was being taken, but the resources were what were important. Like Kawano was one hit away from stun and had Daigo in the corner, so he was like one hit away. So he, he was in a pretty good spot. Very tightly but fought. if he lost I that, like then Daigo just won. Gets a shimmy. Very nice. Has Daigo in the corner. Stunned pretty high up there. Daigo doesn't V reversal that. I don't know why he finished that target combo. Uh, normally, you see the, the jab not hit, so you stop at the medium punch. A little bit too far for the light kick, so I think he got the jump as an input error. But he puts himself and Daigo actually now. ready to flash kick it. Oh, what a whip punish. And this is still doable. You see how much V-Trigger Kawano still has? That's how Colleen can win this round. If he gets like a couple throws. But now Guile is out of the corner. This is a lot harder. And this is kind of impossible now. Getting smoked. I think Guile's forward knee can be zero at best. Or maybe plus one. I think plus one. Yeah, plus one. It can it can trade with a with a three frame. And Guile has a four frame. So it's really cheap against four frame characters, but against three frame characters, you just jab. He goes into the training mode and with punishes day in day out. There is no there's no. Um, but as I said before, sometimes these rounds just happen where you lose a lot of life. That's not really what matters in the round. What matters is how Kawano uses his resources and makes these couple chances count. So he has a chance right here. He has Guile in the corner. But Daigo finds his way out. He still has V-Trigger. So Stan Fierce, pretty big buff in terms of range. So it's able to crush counter booms a lot more. He's looking for a stab through. But you see how much V trigger the stab takes, so it's not even really worth it to do that through fireballs because it takes like half your V trigger almost. This is this is doable. Kawano has super, so oh my god, he could have confirmed that into super. But he can super through any boom, so it's actually very very uh, winnable because Guile's main tool in the matchup, the Sonic Boom, to keep her out, is unusable now oh, yes. and he actually yes, gets yes, the yes. counter hit um, and uh, doesn't have to spend the super at all no meter spent I think if I were Daigo I would have just boomed take away the super from Kawano because it's pretty hard to win that round I think as Guile so you just you just like take the meter from them immediate throw Kawano was baiting the flash kick and this is uh, guess for this, game almost. Stop, yeah, it's definitely guess for game. Guess the jab. This should go. kill. Should be yeah, this should kill. Stab, stab. If he needs it to extend the damage, and, and that the is game. gonna be enough. Kawano tying it up one to one here. And in that Kawano game, Kawano was able to make his chances count. You know, you saw him have that like one guess he needed to make to get the stun, and he actually got it that time. Um, and it's a it's a hard game to play. You know, you just spent the whole game getting zoned out 
all throughout that loser. And you have to you have to play that game, find your way in, and then you have to guess right. And then if you guess wrong, you're you're just demoralized. Even though you didn't really play badly, it just seems like nothing was working. So it's one to one here. Get off me! And he tried to go for actually takes the, exactly takes the takes or takes the throw there. Air throw in the ground throw. Mm -hmm. Cause it just happened so fast. He tries to catch you off guard. And has Guile in the corner with punish. punish. And that's what I'm saying. Like, um, if Colleen can get Guile in the Ooh, corner, like her buttons do so a good job of whiff punishing his and crush countering the booms. If he can't walk back. But once he gets that mid screen space, it's a lot harder to to whiff punish and to uh deal with the booms. So if Kawhi was looking for like a buff or like one hit into an ex hand right here. So he uses a V-break very smart. Look at how much space it gets him, and he has Guile in the corner. Unfortunately, just gets hit by a EX boom. Another V-break gets the throw right here. Oh no, the V-reversal, and this is impossible now. Yeah. Come on now. Those situations, no no Sobot meter. Kick. They have the same After life, but it's like 90% in Guile's favor. TV, so <laughs> if you think think about it from, from like a reverse point of view, you just can't put yourself in those kind of situations. You have to win before before that happens. And Kawhi trying to make that happen here in this round. Half life lead already. It's so close. Oh no, step. EX that hands. I think that would have been the round, actually. I think it would have stunned and killed. I think it would have killed there, too, if he did the Here's EX hand. But it's still a pretty good round for Kawano because he's going to get Vitru. And it's, it's very doable to get like that much life off of Daigo um, with the V-Trigger. So he can just take all this damage, but he's gonna get V trigger. He's gonna activate off like a light kick or a crash medium kick, uh, and he's gonna get the kill. Hopefully, but if if Daigo finds one hit into super, that's it. Then it's two one Daigo. He would be on match point. Oh, that's not good. Text a throw. If he confirmed okay, that, it would have been death, but... Oh my god, the crush counter. That was so close. The last little bit of V-Trigger. You see how much V-Trigger he had left? He didn't have very much V-Trigger left. He actually spent all of his V-Trigger on that dash. Who's gonna win this pivotal game number three? Oh my god. No confirm on the stand medium punch. But you see how how aggressive Kawano has to be, not in like overextending, but just in taking space. And for most characters, in most situations, you wouldn't want to spend the super there. But because getting the corner against Gal is so important, I completely agree with spending the super to go through the boom right there. You want to just get Gal to the corner as fast as possible and just keep him there. Does Colleen have Oki after forward throw? Like you can press a button in meaty, but no one has like throw Oki after forward throws. Can't stab through that one. Uh, it was too close. And the stab is only like projectile invincible on frame 10 or 11. So definitely couldn't do the stab through that one. And that's uh like the hail it's it's if the opponent is not ready for it, then you know it's good to catch your opponent off guard. I think in the first game actually Daigo was caught off guard, but in that situation Daigo is ready with a sweep. Kawano has super. He can make something happen. If he supers through a boom, but the galaxy brain sweep. 
I was actually going crazy over this. Oh this was God. honestly so Jackson. smart. Oh that Kenny sweep went the... so far. I was not oh thinking about Jackson. sweep. Daigo was not oh thinking about God. sweep. Everyone was thinking about one. super. Doesn't even need number two. But Kawano oh takes it with a little bit of creativity. Like you have to, you have to just take that risk in this matchup. Actually ridiculous to do that. And I feel like that takes a lot of effort to do. And in a longer set, over two sets, like he has to reset the bracket and then win after the reset. So that makes it like extra hard to like keep making these hard reads. But um, I'm sure the adrenaline was pumping for him. He's like, I know, I know how to, how to actually win this game. And he did it with the sweep. I would have gone for the hail for the knockdown. He chooses to go for the hands to keep him standing. I'm not sure what that forward light kick was from Daigo. That was kind of weird. Old man reactions. Not a problem. Kawano has V-Trigger activated, but this is kind of a not great spot to be activated. Because you have to like spend half your V-Trigger to get him to the corner. The V-Trigger is most effective when the other person is already in the corner. And you can see like it's just kind of wasted right here, right? Like he didn't really get much off of that V-Trigger. And he's just dead. Into the critical art, finding the mark. We've been talking like about Like the, the power of the V trigger goes up exponentially when the opponent is in the corner already. Um, but a good amount of cash spent. Outside of the corner, you have to like spend the dash and then guess right. You might not guess right, so you spend another dash and then you're out of V trigger. So you have to spend the first part of the round trying to get them as close to the corner as possible before you get V trigger. So that crush counter back heavy kick does a good job of doing that activation. Daigo's in the corner. Goes for the dash, but Daigo checks it. Yeah, he's been so good about confirming that into the flash kick. That time he did not get it. And if Kawano wins this, he's actually on match point. So that would be huge. Okay. He still has one more. Going for the fiercest, but out of V-Trigger now. He's going to have to just try and keep him caged without his V-Trigger, but that's still very doable. And he has a lot of EX meter for these EX hands uh, conversions. Just needs one more confirm right here. And gets it off the dash. so good about checking Kawano's dash and forward movement, but not that time. Kawano snuck that one. And I like how Kawano is not getting frustrated with his attempts. Because he's dashed a couple of times and they haven't worked, but he, he still goes to them. And that's good because in this matchup, you just have to keep taking risks. Dash is a risk you have to take. If it gets shut down, you can't just stop doing it because then how are you going to get in? Right? You have to keep cycling through your options even if they don't work and you have to stay confident that they will work eventually. <laughs> Can you react to the boom with vanity step? No. Why would you check the throw at this point outside of bad reactions? Yeah, so just go up and throw him. But now that V trigger's over. But look at this, Kawano's got plenty of meter. Oh, what a walk back. Yeah, it's a, it's a read and you're spending meter for the read. So it's not, it's not really worth it. And the non-meter one literally just goes nowhere. You know scare, it I goes know. forward like the same distance down. it goes backward. Yeah. Wow, doesn't make it happen that round, so it's match it's, it's, point it's for both of them. It's, it's a valid 2 2. If Daigo it's wins this, he wins a tournament. Kawano wins speed. this, he resets the bracket. With a great start here. Yeah, but great start. This is oh, no the ideal place you want to be in this matchup. He spends some of his V meter on the V break. A lot of gray life on the side of Daigo. One light kick, a throw. Fierce. And that's guess for game. Is he going to throw? Is he going to not? Gets the counter hit. Daigo is probably trying to jab boom into V trigger. Frame trap, a meaty, a throw, etc. Double reset point for Kawano. Oh, God. Oh, no. Why'd that just. I think uh, Daigo just <laughs> accidentally crouched medium kicked or something and went under it. 
I feel like he definitely did not do that on purpose. A little late on the whiff punish, you know, Daiko definitely does try to whiff punish with the sweep. A little late that time, and you can see what a big um, risk is if he if he misses it. But the V-break, again, is so good against fireball characters because you are able to actually get the knockdown and be right up in their face instead of being, like, pretty far. But he's kind of far from the corner, so he's going to want to make up some space. He spends the stab, but now he only has, like, half his V-trigger left, so it's kind of hard. Like, I, I'm kind of of the opinion, it's, like, Better to try and get some more space before you before you activate. Cause now Daigo's gonna activate, right? Or he's just gonna super. Then he's gonna V trigger. He doesn't even need a V trigger, but if Daigo wanted to, he could have activated V trigger and thrown like a hundred boobs, and Kawano was just gonna have to guess. So that that was pretty hard to win once Kawano ran out of V trigger. For Kawano, this round is for and I'm sure the nerves, the emotions, Daigo has been in this situation so many times. Kawano has kind of two, but this is to get into Capcom Cup, and Kawano has never been in Capcom Cup. And he wants to like solidify that he's like one of the best players in Japan right now by beating Daigo. And it's not looking good for Kawano right now. The stab was a little bit late. How is he gonna how is he gonna make his way back? The whiff punish, that is so big. It's minus six, but it pushes you far enough out of range that most things whiff and the dash. I don't think that'll kill. That's not gonna kill. There's a lot of stealing. The throw? The throw takes it. Can you imagine if Daigo just flash kicked away Kawano's hopes and dreams right there? That would have been heartbreaking. But Kawano was like, I, I'm not scared of this flash kick. You can flash kick me all you want. I'm going to throw you. And it worked. So here we are. Another first to three. Kawano's going to have to do it again. A little bit too far for the target combo. He would have had to do light kick, I'm pretty sure, into hail. Um, and I think this set is just even harder for Kawano than the first set. Because I think... I think the matchup actually changes depending on how much energy the Colleen player has. And Kawano just put everything he had into the first set. He's doing pretty good so far. He gets the round. But I feel like you, it just takes so much energy. You gotta just keep trying to fight your way in there. I think it's harder in a long set for the Colleen player than the Guile player. The EX boom. Kawano text right there. And that's death. You guys see how much damage Guile does? Not very fair. Why does he have all these combos, all this offense, when he's also just a zoner? That's not so fair. Yeah, I think one of Daiko's best traits is that you cannot read his defense. Like, you might guess right, but you're never sure about the guess. Nice confirm. This is such a huge start to the first game. Daiko text right there. This is huge. He could stun with a back throw. And Daiko walks up throw and this is the set just went downhill. How is Daigo so confident in his defense that he gets shimmied right here? And then he's just like, you know what? You're gonna you're gonna shimmy me again. And he walks forward throw. Most people would just go for a crouching low attack. But Daigo was so sure of it. He walked up. Throw. When you're walking forward, you're not blocking. That was just enough for Daigo to get the lead. Ah, but he still has, you know, a little bit so, of a... Uh, 
space to make that V2 Yeah, I mean, happen. Kawhi Kawano still, still in a pretty good Gile spot to win this round. Well. He He's got to take the Guile activation at some point. I'm not sure I agree with this EX spent, to be honest. I think I would have gone for, like, a hill. I see. But he's actually That's one hit away. What the heck was that? I think he should have gone for the mix-up. And then he does it again, man. How does that happen? And I think the set's over at this point. So right here, um, when he's in this situation right here, after he spends af after this throw it's actually very hard for Colleen even objectively like even if we ignore the fact that he just got walked up thrown twice in a row like it's actually very hard for Colleen because she has no V reversal or anything she just has to take the activation into into like a bunch of booms so that's why Kawano jumps and then he has to take the throw right here right so that's plus a walk up forward throw twice. Throws going. Opening up the offense with that alone is that's, so scary. Kawano that's crazy. Great job overall of stopping people. I've goals. never seen anyone. No one's ever done that to me, bro. I can only imagine how Kawano felt like, bro. This guy just walked up through me, and then he went for a shimmy again, and then Daigo walked up through him again. I would have been. I I would have died of a heart attack at this And this is to get into Capcom Cup. Man, this is crazy. And oh, like as I as I said, the thing about this matchup is you have to make your guesses count. And if you just cannot read the guile player at all, you you can't make the guesses count. Yeah, the stab probably would not have worked right there. Spending the stab right there, this is kind of a hard round to win because you spend the stab and you only have half your B trigger left. It's actually very doable now, though. He has Daigo in the corner. Base out the sweep. But got like Daigo's gonna get the Sonic Boom activate or sweep activate right here. But Kawano has super. He can super through a boom. Confirm into super. So I think this is like a pretty even game right here. Both both characters have viable yeah, ways of landing their super Sonic um, oh, but that's yeah, that's, that's just death right there. Sonic, 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 dash forward. bro how is this fair oh, yeah this Sonic. is death this is it's definitely death yeah. it is it's oh tempest. my god oh boy yeah it's but look second to last the penultimate hit again I believed in it 100%. When I see Peach, <laughs> Nef Urian see no I'm, I'm planning on just playing Kali I know it yeah. it's gonna kill Oh, what a dash under. I don't think any secondary character I play, I can get to the level of my Colleen. He's fighting in the center of the screen. You can see the lines there. They indicate where the center is. That's cheating. Oh, good anti-air. Good anti-air throw. Here we go. Kawano, get it. Daigo to the corner. Oh, we're fighting out. I mean, it's just kind of... Watching this is like... How is Kawano actually going to mentally come back from this, you know? But he gets the air throw. Gets the whiff punish. He's still, he's still kicking. Yeah, it's a hard matchup. That was sick. But I saw this clip on Twitter. He can kill right here if he does a double stab combo. But he didn't do the double stab like combo. This, not like this. Yes, like this. He could have done the double oh, no. stab combo. It's pretty hard to do the double stab combo. <laughs> so I understand why he didn't want to risk it if he thought that was gonna kill. Oh, I love the option of the hail. Go, no, not again. Oh, Are you kidding no. me? Are you kidding me? So you oh, eat the God. flash kick, your full oh, screen, no, 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 and then no, no. the backwards so bad. I can't believe he did it again. Two Those reads oh, won Kawano. Guile, I mean Kawano Daigo both games, like right? Champion, but Daigo clutching it out. Oh my and I think that's like a difference that in the he energy levels, I feel like. Because Kawano has had to make this whole loser's bracket run, 
He I lost in winter semis, had to beat Fujimura, Moke, someone else too. But does he care? And he had to reset not. the bracket against Scott uh, Daigo. Oh. Watch out for the tr trigger activation. He's gonna find a moment. But now it's like somewhere. how many how many more of these reads can you make? Because Kawano kind of spent spent his reads on the sweep, the first the first set. You know. Good job from Kawano this round. Cut Daigo in the corner. So here we go, Kawano He's still playing the matchup phenomenally. Game number three. He's, He's trying to get Daigo to the corner and then just keep him qualify. there, and that's that's what you want to do. Daigo going for the low option right there. Kawano but just it's just, he's down 2-0 against Guile. Oh. And the Guile well, player is Daigo, light, right? whose defense has just been, been actually insane. <laughs> this set. Not really the first set, but this set, like, you actually, he's pulling stuff out no one's ever seen before, bro. Stab through, and then flash kick. Now it's, it's gonna get into his head. Oh, now it's gonna get man. into his head. Not as much, right? There's no bar down yeah, that's below. That's true. Okay, here we go. It's just. No ex flash it's not that much damage, goes. but he's out of the goes corner. The Time for the comeback here. In All the feet trigger no, gone. Kawano well, gets a couple super, throws yeah. here. Do it again. Do it again. Throw him again. But he's oh, not gonna be able to do that forever. It's actually very risky to keep going for those throws. Because the throws don't leave you directly in the corner. So if the opponent walks back like Daigo did. Oh my God. Then you can just uh, Daigo punch the throw. Point. Point. He is smoking some Kawano right now. <laughs> Do you like original recipe or extra crispy? This man, Daigo, is setting people on fire. Daigo. Comebacks after comebacks. If Kawano wins this game, I feel like his confidence corner. would shoot up dramatically. Up such a good fight. And can you imagine playing this Look at, look at how so good nice. he's playing, bro. Damn. He walked Daigo no, all the way to the corner, for, uh, but he just keeps right? guessing Behind wrong nice. when it counts. Can't get out of the corner that easily, Daigo. Stun, and what's the guess here? Oh, it again. Oh, it's just man. every guess that's important, that Kawano doesn't, doesn't guess that's right. That's exactly why I'm yelling, James. That's exactly <laughs> what I feel because Kawano gets shook. Yep. Oh my god. But Daigo back in the and I think again, uh, Daigo just the understands the rhythm at Perfect this point. Distance on that. Actually, no. He knows Trade that Kawano like, isn't baiting the flash kicks there, basically. Oh, runs into that. And now, look at. Oh, don't get crushed counter by that heavy punch. Please, God. Okay. Okay. Big damage here for Kawano. And, this uh, is actually that? incredibly oh, good for Kawano. He just can't get hit by this activation. Oh, but those oh, Daigo no. did not punish that. Oh my Gets the throw. This, this is, is so hard. dangerous. Out of the corner. Nice. He can nice stab through one boom. But uh, not, not this. Watch out for the he tries to stab oh, through. He just gets makes hit. It into cap, cup, cup. Daigo eliminates Kawano after the reset. That is heartbreaking, to say the least. I was rooting for Kawano. Very young, too. He's, he's younger than me. I think he's like 21 or 22. Um, so I wanted to see see him do well, and like the younger Japanese players, like, uh, you know, make it in. But it's at the end, it's Daigo on top still. Incredible set. I think, I think the difference. It's not like Kawano played bad the second set. Like matchup wise, he played great. It was just the reads um, on defense or offense. I would say. Like, he would get the guess for game around, and then Daigo would just flash kick. He would walk up throw, and it's because I feel like Kawano had a little bit less energy than Daigo, given uh, how the tournament round run shook up for him. So maybe maybe if Kawano didn't go Vega the first set in winter semis, he might have won that set, and um, in grand finals, he would have like had a, a little more... A little more juice. I think he probably could have just won, the, like the first set in grand finals too. But the fact that he had to play two sets in a row like this, where he just constantly has to keep making reads, I feel like, 
Uh, it's just hard. So, uh, very well played by Kawano. He'll have to qualify through the fourth qualifier because Daiko ends up taking it through the third. And that's going to be it for the match analysis. Thank you for watching this on YouTube if you're watching there. Uh, leave a comment saying if there's any other matches you want me to analyze. But um, this was like the most important high-profile one, so I wanted to get to this one first. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.